if you poured your concrete like this, you're gonna have problems. Welcome back, Pack. This is Advil from Wolf Steel Buildings, and today we're going to be talking concrete. So today we're actually talking about the ramps on concrete, and it's very commonly uh, done on concrete work for metal buildings or concrete slab for metal buildings. But we're going to talk about why this is an issue, and I, we've actually encountered a lot of problems with this type of ramp so that I know I made my introduction a little bit dramatic but it has been an issue and I want to make sure that you guys don't go through it and that's what this video is all about today now before we get started I do want to mention I might be looking up and down because I'm going to be sharing my screen I'm going to be showing a case studies of existing ramps and like pictures and videos for you to see so bear with me there and don't forget to subscribe now let's get right to it. So on the screen, you should be seeing a picture of a ramp detail. So you probably have seen this detail done by concrete, you know, concrete contractors, concrete. And, and you basically see that ramp. Now, what I do like about the ramp is how it is a smooth access, a smooth, you know, to be able to access to the main finish elevation of the floor. And, and even this ramp, what I also like is it does keep water, you know, from seeping inside the building. So I do like the ramp. Unfortunately, feel like it's, it, it, create, it still creates a problem with the metal building. So let's dive in deeper. So on this next screen, you should be seeing a sketch up that we did. This is the base rail of, a, of the metal building, okay? And then up here is the upright for the frame out. The opening is made exactly for the size of the door. But what happens here is, check this out the tracks get bolted onto the upright. And therefore, because the tracks are, are bolted onto the upright, the tracks are sitting on the top finished floor. And what does that create? Well, this is what the problem that becomes. You have basically a gap in between because the door is, on, is, is only able to go down up to that height. So basically you're gonna have about a one and a half inch gap in between. And that creates, you know, where critters can come in, uh, water, uh, well, not necessarily water really, but you can have like critters, insects, and light, which is air. So if you're gonna insulate the building, then you got air penetration that's coming in inside your metal building. So this can be solved. There are multiple ways that this can be solved. Well, first, you know, you're the metal builder guy, if he comes in and he tries to cut through this little section right here, right here, so, so the track can sit at the bottom level, but it's usually not pretty. So I don't recommend that. I recommend that if you have this situation, get with your metal builder to maybe do the cut or maybe have your concrete guy you know, do the cut based on how the metal building is going to be built. So it's, it, it really is just custom to how the framing of the metal building will be done. So that's my best, you know, recommendation for this for now. Let me show you guys kind of like the results of what could, what you could see. If you can see here in this picture on the bottom, there's a gap. And again, this is because it's, it's got the, the ramps. Now, you might be asking about the doors. Well, there's other solutions for the doors, for roll-up doors, and that is another video. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how we do our concrete and how do we prevent all this from happening, which is the main reason we actually started doing concrete. So I've been doing metal buildings for about 15 years. 
always having issues with water seepage just because concrete being done in so many different ways uh, just doesn't help. We sh concrete and buildings should be aligned. They should be in sync and in communication to make sure we understand. So let's, let's dive into this. So on this side, we have another roll up door. And again, right now I'm showing you guys a typical single, single leg frame tubular building, okay? This can vary based on your, your metal building, okay? If you got a single leg, if you got a double leg, or if you got a ladder leg. So it, it, it varies based on your metal building. So it's important that you communicate with your metal builder. In our case, we handle that, okay? So I'm showing you guys just a single bar. So the same concept, we got the base rail, we got the upright, the door, but now here you can see that the concrete was not style where the base rail still sitting on the finished floor elevation, but then we cut back in and make a notch around so that way the door tracks are sitting at the bottom, basically a one and a half inch bottom notch. What does this do? Check this out. That makes the door sit at the bottom side, therefore creating a, basically sealing the bottom, uh, the concrete and the door. Basically all your doors, whether it's a roll up door or an overhead door, you're gonna have a rubber seal at the bottom part. So when there's pressure against the concrete, then you can seal that. So no craters can come in, no water really can come in because Again, we got that barrier here, that notch, and it has done a great job. Now, what are some of the negatives about this? Well, the negatives is you are, your finished floor is still sitting about an inch and a half. So when you're driving up, you're gonna feel that, that little bump as you go in. Part of the edges might start chipping away in the future. It just depends on the concrete mix, obviously how you do it. Now. Let me show you guys some pictures. Let me, let me go into detail. So here we got a building that we did. You can see that you don't see any lighting at the bottom of the door. If it was sitting up top, then you would see some lighting. So we did a great job, but you can see down here, you know, we got the notch detail around, the door is sitting nice. Watch a lot of our videos. I'm always showing our notch work. This is really how it looks before a building is sitting on it. So you can see here, we got some of the, the, the little, we call them eyebrows, I don't know why, but <laughs> ceja. So that's where the base rail will sit and the upright will go up from there. And then the door tracks will sit at the bottom side. Guys, I encourage you to check out one of our videos. We did a tour on a concrete slab. Uh, we talked about everything of how we do our concrete work. It's called the number one way to do a concrete slab for a metal building. Check it out. I hope it provides you value. I hope that this video gives you guys a little bit more insight into how we do our concrete and how to prevent this. If you do the ramp, there is a way to do it in a way where it's a hybrid and I have seen that work and I think it's, uh, it's really good. I just think it's a little bit more extra and we, we just stick to the basics and the principles that we use have been working phenomenal for us. If you have any other suggestions, any other ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. Again, the way I showed it right now is for a single bar, speak with your metal builder, how it's gonna frame that door out to be able to make sure that you do it right. When we do red iron, we also do it differently. So. I hope this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video.